these are some bees that I discovered messing around out here in the garden. And when all these, uh, before these massive amounts of bees start accumulating out here on my patio, uh, this is the little area that I use to clean fish and uh, slaughter and process deer. And um, so a few months ago, I was out one day cleaning some fish and I noticed uh, I started attracting a lot of bees. I never seen that. And uh, so some time went by. And I was out here one day, I had uh, drunk a Coke. Mm -hmm. I had the can sitting up on the table and I guess 30 minutes later I discovered these bees had I mean they had like was trying to uh, hijack the can off the table you know so uh, so one day I uh, I came up with an idea I got some sugar that little that little jug right here that's sugar and water and I sent out some tops. I placed some tops on top of the on top of the table. And one day it was about ten bees. Well, this the most bees I've seen yet. Check them out. They're beautiful. They're out here in my patio garden. Now there's a hide somewhere. And people, I don't live near no beehive that I know of. So this gotta be a wild beehive. I wish I could find it. They're using that solution. They drinks it up and they take it back to the nest. They use it to make honey. See, that's a good feeding source for the bees during the winter months. See, they don't have no natural flowers to feed to get the, the sweet nectar that they're looking for. So, fix them up a little uh, solution of sugar and water and they are very harmless. Just don't go up and try to catch the bee. Don't go up and try to hug on the bee and give the bee some sugar because he ain't going to go for that. But if you just want to observe him from afar, you know, you can get right up on him. Just don't mess with him. They know I'm their buddy. They know by now that I'm the one that's putting the solution out there for them. And I've seen these bees do some fascinating things. Like earlier this morning, a bee fell over in the, um, into the pool. And another bee reached in and pulled them out. And he followed that bee all around that table for about 10 minutes. I thought, I thought the bee was attacking the other bee. But no, the bee was, was cleaning the uh, sugar and water. You know, he was cleaning them up. And I thought that was fascinating, man. And when he finished, the other bee flew off and no harm. But if you would have seen it, you would have just swore for sure that he was attacking the bee. But that was not the case. And this is a beautiful sight. Bees in the backyard. Natural. They love that sugar and water. You go bee. Make us some honey for our honeys. Biscuit and honey. Honey and biscuit. Ooh, man. Kentucky Fried Chicken Biscuit with some good honey. Mmm. You guys stay busy now. So we're gonna back up a little bit and let you guys see how this looks. It is fascinating. Let's back up off a little bit. Back.